Did you know that even the world's most famous people aren't immune to rheumatoid arthritis? Have you ever wondered how the big celebrities are fighting rheumatoid arthritis? Do they have access to different treatments? How are they approaching life with rheumatoid arthritis? Let's find out. Rheumatologistoncall.com First, let me tell you, rheumatoid arthritis does not discriminate. It affects people from all over the world, rich or poor, celebrities or not. About 18 million people suffer from rheumatoid arthritis in the whole world. Second, let me introduce you to these five famous people who suffer from rheumatoid arthritis. Famous athletes, Hollywood celebrities, and even singers. Danielle Collins. Danielle Collins, a rising star in the tennis world, shocked her fans when in 2019 she announced that she suffers from rheumatoid arthritis. Danielle did not know what was happening to her body for a while, but when she received her diagnosis, she felt relieved as she finally, her symptoms were validated. She knew what she had. Danielle Collins told her fans that, as a professional athlete, you are constantly reminded that your body is your temple. My house is the utmost importance to me and I'm ready to take on the fight on rheumatoid arthritis. So what did she do? Danielle made many changes in her diet, in her training schedule, and even her playing schedule to adapt to her body needs and to fight rheumatoid arthritis. Terry Bradshaw. If you are an American football fan, and if you are a Steelers fan, like I am, then you remember Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw was a four-time Super Bowl champion and an iconic quarterback for the Steelers team in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Unfortunately, Terry was also diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. Terry warned people that rheumatoid arthritis has nothing to do with age. He said, you don't have to be an old athlete like me to wake up with sore joints, as most of these conditions, and he was referring to autoimmune diseases, don't have anything to do with age. Terry became a strong advocate for rheumatoid arthritis, and he took a leadership position in the American College of Rheumatology Simple Task Campaigns to educate others about rheumatoid arthritis. He told people with rheumatoid arthritis how he approaches. He says, I approach every day, every morning, the same way, Jack." So, as you can see, a positive mind is very helpful. Paula Abdul. Who doesn't know the beautiful, vibrant, and the lovely Miss Paula Abdul? Paula Abdul is a singer and a wonderful dancer who has captivated the public all over the world for many years. Paula was diagnosed with both rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. However, she did not know for many years what was happening to her. And when she finally found out, she said, I just wish I had known about rheumatoid arthritis earlier. And she was right. Knowing about the disease earlier, you can treat it and manage it and you will feel better. Many patients in my practice, rheumatologists on call, they say the same thing. They wish they knew sooner as they could have been on the right track for years before. However, even now, it is not late. Come to be seen and get the help that you need. Kathleen Turner. Kathleen Turner is a legendary Hollywood actress, very well known for many roles like Peggy Sue Got Married or The War of Roses. In the 1990s, Kathleen began experiencing inexplicable pains and fevers. It took one more year to get the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. When she was diagnosed, she could hardly turn her head or walk, and she was told she would end up in a wheelchair. 
She said that my body could respond only with excruciating pain whenever I tried to move it at all. The joints in my hands were so swollen, I couldn't hold a pen. Some days I couldn't hold a glass to get a drink of water. I couldn't pick up my child. My feet would blow up so badly that I couldn't get into them any kind of shoes, let alone walk on them. Kathleen's appearance changed after the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis and the press was without mercy on her. They actually told everyone that she became fat and unrecognizable because she was an angry, wash-up diva and because she was out of control. But the truth is that the changes in her physical appearance were most likely because of drugs and chemotherapy and they were not within her control. But she still didn't reveal anything that was happening to her. Isn't that awful? How could you judge someone that is suffering? I think this is outrageous, but this is a reality. Later on, Mrs. Kathleen Turner decided to focus on her health, and she said she would let people believe or assume that she was a drinker rather than publicly tell everyone about rheumatoid arthritis. She also said they would hire me if they thought I was a drunk because they could understand drinking, but they wouldn't hire me if I had a mysterious, scary illness that they didn't understand. She felt imperative to keep her rheumatoid arthritis quiet. Unfortunately, her career took a hit for a while, but then when she found the right treatment in the 2000s, she was able to come back. Thanks to newly available treatments at that time, her rheumatoid arthritis went into remission. She is actively encouraging today people with rheumatoid arthritis to try the new treatments, and she tells them there is hope if they have the right doctor and a personalized treatment approach. Caroline Wozniacki. Who doesn't remember Caroline Wozniacki? one of the most famous tennis players in the world. Caroline was even number one in the single woman tennis in 2010, and then she was a winner at the Australian Open in 2018. In 2018, just before the US Open tournament, Caroline announced that she was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. She said, I woke up and couldn't get out of bed. I was in so much pain that I couldn't even brush my hair or brush my teeth. After seeing many physicians, she discovered that she suffers from rheumatoid arthritis. Caroline told people, in the beginning, it was a shock because she was in the top of her career and now she had to deal with this disease, but she was very strong and she told everyone, that's what I'm known for, because she was a hard worker. And suddenly, I have this disease to work with. Despite this, Caroline was determined, and she was the one who fought rheumatoid arthritis every day. Plus, today she is an advocate for people with autoimmune diseases. So as you can see, all of these people, you are not alone and rheumatoid arthritis does not discriminate. All of these famous people, not only that they battle rheumatoid arthritis every day, but they use their channels to raise awareness about the disease and empower and inspire other people. All these famous people, from Caroline Wozniacki to Kathleen Turner, Paula Abdul, Terry Bradshaw, they have been diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. They were in shock, but an earlier diagnosis, a better understanding of the disease, and all the therapeutic options that we have available today, they use them as a key to fight the disease. This disease is not unbeatable. If they can fight rheumatoid arthritis, you can do it as well. If they were able to find the support that they needed, you can find that too. If you need help, Rheumatologist on Call is here to help you. 
overcome the challenges of a new rheumatoid arthritis diagnosis. And we will also tailor the therapy to your specific needs. Our approach is unique as we use a holistic approach that will focus on nutrition, physical therapy, and mindfulness practices in addition to the most treatment advances specifically designed for rheumatoid arthritis. We treat the whole body and the mind. We treat the patients and not their disease. If you or someone that you know wants to get better soon, please visit our website or contact our office directly to schedule a consultation. If you have any comments, please don't forget to leave them at the bottom of this video and don't forget to subscribe to learn more about rheumatoid arthritis. Thank you for watching and I wish you a very good day. Rheumatologistoncall.com